people who tinker away in these subterranean workshops, perfecting gadgets and gizmos you're not going to see anywhere else. Well, the people in this next story are, are real fine, even for us. That's true. They love their remote control planes so much, they're taking them to new heights, and they're actually using drone-style technology to do it. Who are these masked men? And why are they sitting on lawn chairs in sub-zero weather? It can only mean one thing. They're remote-controlled plane enthusiasts. My nickname is Yuski, and that's how everybody else knows me. I'm uh, one of the founders of Basement RC. Yeah, I think, hold on. <laughs> Mike, uh, his uh, nickname is uh, Trax. He's our expert when it comes to the automation part of the controls that we put in our plane. He reads the manuals, and we don't. It's Alex, he's known as Epox E. He tends to crash his planes uh, every flight. Yeah. Rod is our uh, electrical expert. He wires everything. When I look at it, it looks like spaghetti, but when he looks at it, it all makes sense. By nights, they toil in the basement, refining their streamlined flying machines. By day, they soar above the earth, seeing it in a way few others do. We were flying together in, uh, in a local club, and at some point we had an idea to put in cameras on our planes. They're part of a new movement of RC flying called First Person View, or FPV. And you thought the goggles were to conceal identity. These were specifically created for FPV. Some people prefer to use screens, but to get full immersion, you really need to use goggles. It puts you in the pilot seat. The video feed allows them to see what their planes see, just like a military drone, but millions of dollars cheaper and without the collateral damage. Well, without as much damage. They even get an on-screen display with airspeed and GPS coordinates. The video allows them to fly further than they could with a normal RC plane. In the world of RC, you stand, you look at a plane, and you fly. By us having the video and the camera on the plane, we can send it as far as the equipment allows us to go. And they can go far. Yuski pilots this plane beyond the tree line and our sight line with his goggles and controls. The flyers each have their own personal radio control tower, a ground station that picks up the plane's video and radio frequency. And a lot of them share the same frequency, so when one person is flying, we can all watch them fly. We also have a, a little video screen here where you, somebody could stand and watch as, as the flight's happening. And this is a little tracker that the, as the plane is flying, it's sending its GPS coordinates. Even though they know where the planes are, they haven't quite figured out how to orient their heads during flight. Oh, okay. Now, they're going to demonstrate follow the leader. This will require hands, eyes, and goggles coordination. Mike, you got me? Alright, they're going to wait past it. I'm uh, going along the tree line up yeah, to I'm the road. Huh? I'm turning back towards that tree line when I'm trying to. Okay, so I'm going to pass overhead now. You're fast, man. Heading back towards the trees. The planes are all made of foam, so they can embed their components yeah. wherever they want to and survive crash landings. On the outside, they all share the same sleek stealth fighter design. This is just the shell of one. Uh, it doesn't look like your traditional plane that has wings and uh, elevator and rudder in the back. So this gives you a nice, smooth, floating kind of uh, flight, but it's still agile enough that if you want to get down low and dodge trees, uh, you can still do that. Speaking of flying low, Yuvsky is a uh, pro. Lining up for landing. Three. A little bit low, you're all right. Just got carry over. Did I land? You landed. <laughs> It all looks like fun and games, but it turns out this hobby is infectious, and amateurs are going professional. The weekend hobbyist that's doing this, flying his toys and putting cameras on it, has inspired other industries like uh, real estate, for example, flying around property. Coming up, we have uh, a demo that we're going to perform to race guys. They want us to follow the car around and film it as it's racing. Now, you can do that with a helicopter, of course. It's a matter of cost. If I crash, it's just a piece of toy that uh, crashed. 
a helicopter with a pilot in there, it's a little bit more dangerous. And having fun in a safe way is what Team Basement RC is all about. That's how their group has grown to 200 members. We did some foolish things in the beginning and, you know, it was just a learning curve. We are actually helping people learn how to do this hobby uh, properly and safely. Right after the break, Alan gets in very hot water when he mans a submarine simulator. Alright Alan, you'd be dead right now. <laughs> 